Mm. Good morning, I'm Victoria Rose. It's nice to meet you. Well, adventures continuing in Victoria's world. I'm leaving Japan, and you guys are gonna be like, you just got there. Yeah, I know. Like I've been saying, it's cold here. I'm gonna come back later. Game plan. I booked a ticket to Vietnam to go to all by myself. I'm scared. I've never really gone to another country that I know nothing about and know no one and don't know the language completely alone. Uh, I did come to Japan, but I knew somebody here. So I will be traveling alone, but I also will be getting there alone and trying to figure everything out alone. That will be an adventure. So if you guys want to know how to travel by yourself, and if you're very inexperienced like me, then come along with me. So I booked the ticket to Vietnam. It was around $130, which isn't bad from Tokyo. The reason that I'm going to Vietnam is because it is a cheap place to get to from Japan. I realized I need a visa. I'm like, okay, how do I do this? So I had to go online, fill out a visa thing, because I'm American, so I need a visa to get in for, and then I did it for 30 days. So I'm gonna be staying in Vietnam for a month. I haven't gotten a response back yet, so I'm leaving tomorrow so hopefully that like comes in today sometime and then I'm like okay so I, I, I need a place to stay <laughs> so I looked up Airbnb and then I found a place on Airbnb the masked man is joining up with me later on but I'm initially going there all by myself so he's helped like we're splitting the cost of rent which is not even that expensive Vietnam is relatively cheap and then the visa was like $21 and there's a $25 stamping fee I realized that the airport that I'm flying into is way far away from the place I'm going, which is Halong Bay. And it's like three hours from Hanoi, which is where the airport's gonna be. So I'm like, fuck, how do I get to Halong Bay? I'm gonna have to take a bus. This is scary. I don't know anything. The masked man couldn't come with me immediately. So I'm like, fuck you, and I'm leaving now. <laughs> so I just did it, and now I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Mornings, I don't have any self-service. The airport from here is like a two hour metro ride. So hopefully I'll be able to find that. The, the Narita airport. Hopefully things go smooth. There's a lot of steps to this process, but I hope that you'll come along with me. Today, I'm just gonna go to the gym to get a workout in before I leave. I'm just gonna pack. Give this a like and subscribe if you wanna see me do this. So it is nighttime. I'm going to get some, there's little um, photo booth things here I need to get to. Pictures apparently for my visa and print out the application. I got approved for it. And then I realized that I need to pay like $72 for scam. for scam <laughs> for for a bus or for a, um, a transfer from Hanoi to Halong because it's really far away from the airport. So I had to pay that just a little bit ago, just to give you guys some perspective if you're ever going to Vietnam. But so right now I'm going to get my video taken. Oh, the shekel, shekel jig. Well, I don't speak Japanese still, so I have no idea what's going on here. 800 yen. 800? For, I just need two. I get beautiful skin. You know, I'm very tempted to, but is that legal? Oh, it's the left language. I have run out of change. Please insert the exact amount of money. The exact amount? Oh, yeah. Ah. Shekel thing. You know, I have a 500 here somewhere. <laughs> Thought I did. Uh, last coin, of course, it would be. So, this has been the whole process of me going to Vietnam. It's just one thing after another that requires lots of shekels. I don't even know what I'm paying for most of the time. It's like. I think you just paid for a, <laughs> a form. <laughs> like, literally, I think I didn't need to do that. Uh, you got any shekels? I have. Zero shekels. You know what I mean? Like, I can't speak right now. Give me a thousand. So, what's that? Change? 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 Damn, this guy likes shackles more than you do. It's 
five in the morning and I am going to try and catch my flight now and Narita Airport. Uh, really tired. I didn't sleep at all really. Bye. Come find me in Vietnam. After a full day of traveling, I am disgusting. I'm really tired. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet. I feel weak. I'm in this like apartment all by myself. So I'm in Vietnam now. We're staying in Tokyo. It took me like two hours on a metro rides to get to the airport. Got on the airport, had to exchange my money and then immediately get on the flight because I was kind of late. Got on the flight, six and a half hours. Then I got here to this airport and then I had to do my visa stuff, which I stood there for an hour and a half because the lines were ridiculous. And I got out and then I found my ride, which was waiting on me for a long time. And that was another three and a half hours to Halong. I flew into Hanoi, now I'm in Halong. And then I couldn't find the building that I was Airbnb being at, which I had to pre-plan all of this. So like, remember to get your visas, which I did, but like I saw a lady who didn't and she wasn't allowed in. But now it's just so quiet and I'm so alone here. <laughs> it's so weird, I'm like, I'll, I'll give you guys an apartment tour later. Right now, I just need to get some food. I'm going to go find some food. Nobody speaks English here. You know, I, I was starting to learn Japanese. I learned how to say hello and thank you. And I don't know how to say anything in Viet Vietnamese. I don't, even, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know anything, okay. dried kiwi and noodles. The store was really, really small. And I didn't, and I didn't want to, I was feeling like I was being watched. So I just grabbed two things that I could eat. I really need protein. I, I ran out of, as you guys know, I've ran out of protein for a while now and I'm so sad about it. And the stuff I ordered didn't come in time for when I left. Dried kiwis. We'll see if this gives me a stomach ache. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm so hungry. So I got uh, rice noodles. I'm like, I know what that is. I wanted to get some eggs, but they all had like chicken poop on them, so I'm like. But, you know, dried kiwis can't go bad, right? Arr! Don't feel sad for me. This is just the beginning of my beautiful, wonderful adventure. I'm really, really tired. Okay, let's see. Please don't have sugar on it. I don't think there's any sugar on it. Yes! These are actually really satisfying. I'm just like so hungry. I'm gonna full bag. <laughs> I'm just gonna like die. I'm gonna get constipated and like. It should be like $10 in America. $2.16. That's not too bad. The main reason that I wanted to come here, I'm running out of money in Tokyo, and Tokyo is pretty expensive. So I figured it'd be better to live somewhere a little cheaper. I'll give you guys more details and all that kind of thing in the next video. Right now, I'm just tired of traveling. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm sorry, it was just me being really tired and traveling the whole time, but. 
I want to take you guys with me and traveling is not what it seems to be sometimes. It is stressful, there's a lot of planning, it's tiring, there's a lot of issues that come up. Maybe my next video will be an apartment tour or something. Let me go, let me know if you guys want that in the comments. But okay, I'm gonna go make my noodles and have a little cry. <laughs> I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial.